Sorry, my room's a bit of a mess. It's right off a busy road and a lot of transient people live there which isn't usually a problem but these are the ones that use hard drugs and I don't want to be around that. <clears throat> oh gosh. Hi YouTube. Um, today I'm doing a tour of the sketchbook I used for Inktober last year. With Inktober right around the corner, I thought it would be a good way to kind of not only psych myself up, but maybe psych out other artists as well, or psych up other artists as well. Um, this is like my third time filming this, so excuse the... um tediousness in my voice. Um, the first time I tried to film it last night, I my roommate walked in and she's super loud and just kind of ruined the whole thing and it's frustrating. And then um, with the second time when I opened the files and was re-watching it, doing like a little double take on my um, movie editor, I noticed that like the, the side of my page got cut out so you couldn't even see some of my Inktober entries um, all the way and I like pointed to something and it just, you couldn't see it, you didn't know what I was talking about. So, third time's a charm, I'm hoping that this time it goes well, three's my lucky number, so I believe in myself. Um, <clears throat> this is the sketchbook I used for Inktober last year. Um, it was when I was still using hardcover sketchbooks and I... I like hardcover sketchbooks for this reason. I would write the date on the spine. That way when I like, you know, put them into my bookshelf, they, um, they're a lot easier to, um, you know, look at and grab and know which one I'm looking through and when I did certain things and stuff. Oops, sorry. Shaky. Um, and yeah, I got pretty far on Inktober last year. I didn't complete the challenge, but I got about 20 days in, so I have faith in myself to actually finish it this year, um, since I got so far last year, if not, go farther than I did this year, last year. Um, I did Miss Up AC's, uh, the, the, the Witch-tacular challenge, which was, um, sorry, doing, um, a witch for every day of October with like different themes. The first day was a historical witch, so there's my historical witch. I wanted to um, do like a woman on her way to the on her way to trial as a witch. Um, to get a better information about witches back then, I watched a documentary on Netflix about witches and like their lo their history and everything and. Um, yeah, for this one, it was, um, I learned a lot about how King James, either the first or second or third or something, one of the King Jameses was, um, he had a deep-rooted phobia of, uh, witches, and a lot of the women that were trialed as witches were just merely, um, 
they were just women that were either herbalists or defiant of the men in their lives since it was a very um, patriarchal society, very misogynistic. Um, medieval Europe was a really rough time for women. Um, and I also recently learned about how the classic um, idea of a witch is um, like, you know, the pointed hat and the cat and the cauldron and everything are from uh, the first brewers. The first beer brewers were women. <laughs> And that's an interesting thing, and I kind of want to do a little illustration of that at some point. Um, yeah, this is the second day of Inktober. Um, the Urban Witch did a little love potion number nine patch from that really old song. It's a really catchy song, and um, the high school I went to, the um, men's choir did love potion number nine for a song, at, like the song love potion number nine for one of their um, performances, and it just... I don't know, I really like the song, and I really like the, um, idea of a love potion and everything. I actually have a little flask, let me grab it, that says love potion on it. I got it at Macy's, I think, for on the clearance sale. It's really cute. I wish I had number nine right here, because then it would, you know, be love potion number nine. It's a really cute, um, I never use it, because I don't really drink too much. Um, but it's super cute. It's got like, a little heart and everything, you know, just... I think it's adorable. Anywho, yeah, um, that was day two. Concepts for day three. It was a Victorian witch. I don't know if you can see the sketch. Yeah, you can a little bit, but um, for this sketch, it was. I don't know what I was trying to do, but it was. It turned out really cute, so I might try to do it again. I like how her hat turned out. But on the other side, it's. A. Yeah, it's a Victorian witch. Sorry, lost my train of thought there for a second. And, um, looking back, I realized that I didn't draw, like, the the legs for the table. <laughs> so, I don't know what the hell I was thinking, but maybe just, like, she was using her little, her witch powers to, like, keep her, keep the table levitated or something? I don't know. <laughs> But, um, I was trying to draw kitties more, and I was failing miserably. Um, concepts, warm-ups, I like how this turned out. I might re try to redraw this at some point. Um, concepts, concepts. Um, day four was the Greek witch. Um, there's a start of one. I really like how that, I really like how that started, but I don't know why, but I just wasn't feeling it. Um, more concepts. I tried to draw, like, the, the um, Greek goddess of fate. And then on the other side, you can see my final decision for day four for Greek witches. I did, I believe her name is pronounced Circe. She was this witch who, um, this witch goddess who, um, turned a whole army of men into pigs. And I thought that was really fucking cool. So I wanted to, you know, draw a bunch of, like, oops, some pigs. And this was my first time ever attempting to draw a pig. And I think they turned out very well. Speaking of pigs, mine are arguing amongst each other right now, so you might be able to hear it. Um, I hope you enjoyed meeting them earlier in the video, by the way. Um, I was fixing their hay, and they decided to come out and say hello for the camera, so... Yeah, those are my guinea pigs. I'll do a little snippet. I'm planning to do little snippets in the beginning, like little vlog-type things in the beginning of my videos now. I'm just trying to up my video game, really, or my video not video game, but, you know, video space game. Um, and then, like, a wolf here, because, um, Circe, I, in her lore, it, I was, it said about how she had, like, pet lions and tigers, and they were all, like, domesticated and friendly. They didn't bite or anything. Um, concepts for the Egyptian witch. I don't know why I didn't like this very much, but I didn't. Um, isn't it funny how when you look back at your old artwork and you think, oh, I didn't like that back then, but then when you look back at it, it's like, oh, that actually turned out pretty cool. Um, my final one for the day five, the Egyptian witch. I really like how her face turned out. It turned out really cool. Um, the scorpion turned out pretty good. I decided to outline him in white to make him pop a little better. I definitely could do this snake better if I tried to do this picture again. Um, but overall, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with, like, the general outcome of this. 
And yeah. Here's my voodoo witch for day six. Still going strong. Um, I used Copic markers for a large amount of these because this is before I got my ink wash. Um, this was a design I actually did many moons ago. Like, God, how long ago was it? Let me see. I went to my old Deviant Art and grabbed it. It's from 2012 in June, so it's over five. The design itself is over five years old, but I modified it to look a little bit more um, New Orleans ish and more voodoo y. Um, I make her look like an actual woman of color. Um, I'll, I'll, like, I'll show you guys the old one. It's super cringy, so um, prepare yourselves. Um, I'm hoping to do better at like drawing different facial structures. Um, concept. This paper. I don't know what it's doing in there, but we'll just have it stick. Chill. Um, my lace witch for day seven. Um, looks like it's a day late. Maybe? Yeah, just a little bit. Um, this is when I started to slip up a little bit. It's usually around day ten when people start to slip up. Um, but I caught myself pretty well. Um, this is around the time I got my um, bottled ink. I went down to this local art store around where I lived at the time and got this Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay India ink in black. And I've never really used <clears throat> bottled ink before, so I didn't really know what to expect. I didn't know what makes a good and bad bottled ink per se, but... This was pretty cheap, it was like $3, and I bought it last year, and it's still about halfway full. And, yeah, I like it a lot. It's, it's like, you know, more pigmented watercolor, basically. Um, yeah, here's my lace switch. Um, this is my first time even using the bottled ink. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, at the time, I didn't really care how this turned out, because, um, you know, it was my first time using a, a new media, and I didn't understand how to work it and when you don't know how to work something it can be kind of frustrating like if I don't know something I get frustrated so I went back to Copic markers for day 14 huh, I think I don't know I can't read my own handwriting sometimes um I believe this was for the natural witch I I don't like how this turned out still. I didn't like how it turned out then and I don't like how it turned out now, so I'm just gonna turn the page. And boom, my forest switch for day eight. Um, so this was actually for day eight and this is probably by far my favorite Inktober piece. Um, I draw this character to this day. I, she, you know, she's my forest witch and this was the first design I ever did of her. Um, a lot of people ask if it's Princess Mononoke, or the design is similar to Princess Mononoke. And I will admit I was a little inspired, but, um, with like, you know, the, the fur overgrowth and stuff, but, um, I wanted to make it, you know, be able to tell that it's not her. So, you know, I gave her, like, blood running down her face, and, um, a bodysuit and, um, tempted dreads didn't work out very well. And her staff was probably my favorite part of this piece. Um, it just turned out so well. I like how I did the thorns wrapping around the wood and then like twigs coming out of her headdress. Um, I just really like how this turned out. I, um, I wanted, I would try to redo it, but I don't think I could top myself, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's my crystal witch. Um, she's on like a half sheet for whatever reason. I think I had to like, I don't know what I did, but, um, Still don't, going pretty well on track. Um, this design was a lot different in my head. I never drew crystals before this day, so I didn't really know how to do it or you know, like what to do. So I had to look up like reference photos and everything. Um, but I don't know. I like it a little bit more now. I could definitely have made her face thinner, but you know, you are your own your own worst critic. Um, around the Around day, looks like 10 or so, I decided to not really necessarily do Witchtacular for every day, but just kind of pick and choose the days that I wanted. Um, so for day 10, I did this little pun that I had in my mind, um, like horny as hell with this little girl with horns. Um, this picture still ch makes me chuckle. I kind of want to make it into a sticker, kind of fix the banner, like revisit this um, as a whole. Her, her boobs look funny. 
but um yeah oh my god it's amazing how different a style could, like your style changes when you look at it a year later um blood witch for doesn't say anywhere but um this was around the time I started to try to use the brush that came with the um that I bought with the bottled ink it's like a calligraphy brush it's a Princeton size 4 um it's a pretty neat pen or not pen fuck it's a pretty neat brush um it's a little hard to control as you can see um I was trying not to dilute the ink and it didn't work out well. It kind of created like a, well, it turned out, it turned out well. It just was not the way that I could have executed this piece. Um, for the Blood Witch, I wanted to go over the subject of bloodletting, which is when, um, it's a medieval medicine practice where they, um, cut open skin to release extra blood for whatever reason thinking that it would like ail remedy or ail sicknesses and stuff which is silly now but you know medieval medicine's a trip um so the moon fan art that I didn't like um ghost witch um or trying to use the brush this brush and realizing that Ink does, bottled ink does better when you dilute it. Um, <clears throat> getting back on track a little bit, that was day 13, this is day 14. Um, I really like how the Sailor Moon patch turned out. Um, and just like up here, after you go lower, it just kind of turns to crap. Um, I made her torso too thick and whatever, but I still really like this concept. I might revisit it this year. Um, attempted Sailor Moon fan arts because. I wasn't satisfied with it. Um, more Sailor Moon fan arts that didn't work out. Um, there's a little wart from over the garden wall. I don't know if you can see it. Um, whoops. Trying to stand up with my with my swivel chair, but there's wart. <laughs> His face. It just it cracks me up. I don't know what I was trying to do. I was just trying to be silly, I guess. Um, Sailor Saturn fan art that I did. Um, for one of the days of Inktober, day looks like 19 or something. I did these on the 19th. It's kind of like a warm up. Um, oh, yeah, this is day 14. And then I slipped up for a little while and then I got back on track. This is me trying to get back on track. That's right. Um, it's an over the garden wall fan art I did. Um, with my bottled ink as well, I was trying to do like a whole thing with, the, with this brush and that was when I realized how thick the lines are and Wirt's proportions are so funny, like, he'd be so small, he's not that small, he's like 14 or something, he's in high school. And, yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen Over the Garden Wall, but if you haven't, I really recommend you check it out, especially with, um, all in Halloween right around the corner. It has a very Halloween-esque feel. I like how the beast turned out. He, um, he kind of has that appearance that he has in the show where he just kind of fades into the shadows and everything. Um, I want to draw the beast some more. He's really fun. And, uh, Homer, a fan art. Check out, um, my siren witch. Yay! I believe, um, one of the prompts was, like, an ocean witch or something. And I immediately thought of sirens and how they would, like, sing pirates and our sailors to their doom and, and shit. And so I wanted to draw her like being super elusive and sneaky behind like a rock. And um, I went in this not expecting much and then came out really pleased. Um, I, yeah, I really like how this turned out. Um, I like how I did the water and everything like that. And I feel like for me personally, if I go into a drawing not expecting much. I'm that much more pleased with myself afterwards. Um, yeah, crap, crap. More nothing. Um, this was the last day I participated in. Um, day 20, it looks like. That was, this was around when I was just so overwhelmed and so... More touch paper. Yeah, I was just so overwhelmed that 
I couldn't keep going anymore and I had to take a break because I was just so burnt out and so tired and running out of ideas and I just, I felt like I couldn't go on anymore so I took a break from drawing for a little while and I still try to do sketches here and there, blah, 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 blah. But I didn't start like doing pieces I liked again until around the middle of November because I was just so tired and like exhausted from October and there's more in here but I'm going to save the rest for um, <clears throat> an older sketchbook tour. I'm going to hopefully make a video where I tour all the old sketchbooks that I have. I have sketchbooks going back as early as like 2014 or 2013 but that's the extent of it because um, a lot of my older sketchbooks didn't really have much in them. I, may, I mostly did finished pieces. Um, from 2013 and before, it was like, I would take this copy paper and I'd draw on that and then that would be it. And so, I'm gonna probably flip through my old, um, binder that I kept all my old artwork in because it was like 8.5 by 11, so I just went to Office Max and got a little binder to keep them in. And I'm gonna do a tour for that and tour for my old sketchbooks and all that. It's like, yeah, November, January 2016 to November 2016, so... Yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried some new stuff. I put in little like vlog ex excerpts. I hope to do more vlogs in the future. Um, I'm trying out different stuff with my videos. Um, oops, sorry, shaky camera. I hate the stand. I'm hoping to get a firmer, like I hate this desk. This desk is so small and so flimsy that like me touching the table at all kind of like, as you can tell, like shakes the camera and it's it's annoying so whoops it's really really obnoxious i'm hoping to get a bigger and more sturdy desk so i will have like you know more set angles and shit um i'd like to make a formal apology for all the like shakiness in my videos and all that it's partially my stand that like shakes when i just even tap it i just lightly tapped it and it's frustrating that I have to deal with this kind of shit, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, it was lovely to see you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. I will see you guys next week for Inktober. I'm hoping to record, um, if not every day, then every other day or at least one video a week. I'm still going to upload like one video a week or maybe more. If the time allows, but I can't make any promises, but I will have some process videos for Inktober. Um, I'm hoping to do at least 10 process videos for the month of Inktober, so get ready. I'm going to spam the fuck out of you guys. Um, as usual, please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, in the comments, let me know what you're excited about for Inktober. Are you excited for the personal challenge? Are you excited for the... Um, other art that's going to be released by other artists. Um, are you excited for um, challenging yourself? Or like, let me know what you guys are excited for. I'm personally excited to finish it. I'm gonna. I'm. I can't make any promises, of course, I and mean, you know I can't predict the future. But I'm gonna try my darndest to finish it this year. I'm gonna try with all my might, even if it's just a little thing a day. I'm gonna do my best do an ink drawing for every day of Inktober this year <laughs> because I got so far last year before I just kind of went <clears throat> so yeah um I'm going to leave my Instagram in the description you can check it out if you'd like I have I will be uploading every day for October hopefully if not every other day or like I'll just miss one day probably but yeah Check out my Instagram, you can like my Facebook, I'm not as active on my Facebook, I really should. Um, and yeah, I um, also, if you guys have anything that you'd like to see from me, please comment and let me know. I'm all, I really, really want your guys' feedback. I want to know what you guys want to see from me and what you enjoy watching. If um, these sketchbook tours are something you like, then please comment and let me know. If you like my process videos, then let me know. If there's something that you guys want me to do more with my videos or do less with my videos, please let me know. Um, 
I would love to, yeah, hear your guys' opinions and feedback and all of that. And just kind of like, yeah, get a feel for what you guys like to see and what I can do to make my channel more enjoyable for all of you because you guys rock. You guys are important to me and what you guys say matters to me. So don't, don't hesitate to talk to me. I do my best to reply. Um, I'm not a fan of the people who like ask for shout outs or ask for me to check out their channel. So, um, you know, keep that in mind. Um, but other than that, I love hearing from you guys. I love your guys' comments and concerns and all that. Um, and yeah, if there's any topics you guys want to hear me rant or rave about, let me know. Um, narrating is still kind of a weird thing for me. It, it feels a bit self-centered. But then I realized that, you know, this is my channel and you guys don't really see me on an everyday basis or in everyday life or anything like that. So it's not abnormal for YouTubers to talk about themselves a lot. Um, it just feels a little egotistical, if you will. Um, I think that's the proper word for it. But yeah, I will see you guys next week and I hope you have a great week. And I hope you guys are excited for Inktober as I am. I can't wait. Alright, love you guys. Bye!